Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Production Line, where in the previous episode we went bankrupt twice, but this time we might do better. The plan at the end of the last episode was that we would try a different, larger factory that gave us a larger amount of starting money, but there has been a little update if you're watching in maximum resolution, you may be able to tell that it's now Alpha 1.05, and one of the various tweaks was that uh, the money was changed. So previously this was like 1.1 million and this was either 2 million or 2.2. They've now been altered a little bit to make them make more sense, I guess. So I guess this was too easy, this was too hard, perhaps? And that makes me feel better about losing horrifically twice in a row on the same thing. So we'll give this another shot, because now we've got a bit of extra money, which means, like, a few more days before we'll go bankrupt for not selling enough cars. So let's go. And I'll be a little bit more careful this time about what I do. I'll start by pausing, because I think money starts being spent immediately just on, like, rent for the, uh for the warehouse. So let's see. We'll just make, build it pretty much as before. I'm going to move it slightly. I'm going to have this right here. And then I'm thinking I could set this running and then only build the next step once that bit of car is ready and maybe that'll save us a bit of a bit of money a bit of because I think you have to pay like all the employees on a I don't know hourly basis or whatever. So let's get our importer in place and get some conveyors running to the stockpile that's right there. Also, the time between um, a station requesting items and it being ordered has apparently been reduced, so we'll have less trouble with uh, things being delivered. Though I have now learned a bit more about how the stockpile works, and it is actually for the exact purpose of sorting out issues with um, materials not arriving quick enough to the, uh, the places. Um, I guess at this point we could just press go. We'll start it playing, and then while that's going on, we will install this section. And then we'll run ourselves some conveyors. And then we'll connect this up to the system. Let's just run this down here for a little while, and then this can go over to here. Or oh, does the annoying thing of having to go around to the main bit. There we go, stuff being delivered there. This is right about done. There it goes, now it's arriving in this, and hopefully the materials are being delivered quick enough to start. That's, yeah, assembling all that. Looks like it's going okay. Okay, next bit. Paint. Plonk it down. Get the conveyors. Then the resource conveyors from here. Next step, fit the engine. All nice and simple to start with, except when we run out of money and lose. I'm just going to plonk down the remaining things now. So this one, this is engines, so accessories, electronics. Even though it seems like quality check might not be necessary, I'm going to put it down anyway. And export right here. Then conveyors. So there and there and there. And then I moved everything out by a square so that we wouldn't have a problem with this thing anymore. So we can now run this down here without a problem. And I'm also getting a better hang of working out how to use the uh, the conveyors over here. So we'll put an importer here, get a conveyor, run it along here for a little while, connect it up to this, connect it up to this, connect this up to this, and that is... Oh crap, and immediately I accidentally deleted that, put it back. And everything is fine, everything should now be supplied, the cars are running along, we've got one being painted already. And that is nearly halfway done. All good, okay, so we still have half a million left, which is great, because we have everything in place to actually make cars now. So the next step is, I think, to start immediately expanding things. So we want to try and, like, if we can double up these three stations here, then we get double the, uh, the production rate for cars. Even if we don't set up this last one here, we'll still get them a little bit quicker. We'll get one just under every minute. Whereas with these, it'll take 70 seconds per car, so... I'm going to try and just go for that straight away. That's the right one. Body. Paint. Engine. Leaves us a little bit short, but should be okay-ish. Run this to here. That's all good, that's connected up properly, and then we could just run this down here and here. Don't have to worry about merging 
any stuff around here. Now let me just check. Yeah, this one takes 27 seconds, whereas this takes um, slightly less, but then these take more, so it ends up like it's actually going to be every 34 seconds that a car is ready, and that's the quickest we can get without any getting more painting stuff and probably also more uh, body stuff. We'll reconnect these to here. That has worked. Okay, now I just need to get the resource conveyors in place. Uh, how does this line up? Where's this one go? Is it... Oh, there it is. I got I got very confused for a moment for no real reason. Run this to here. Run this to here. And now... It should all be... It should all be fine and good. And uh, we should... Oh, there goes the autosave and hopefully we should have cars coming through very soon. The first one has just finished being fitted with an engine. It's arrived in the accessories bit, so... Won't be too long before we sell that, but I am getting a bit worried already. It's it's not too bad, really. But money will continue to tick down. And until we get cars running through at sort of full speed, we'll be a bit of a worry. Like, at the moment, we've still not got the painting thing operating. It's still... Oh, it's ages away from finishing this. That's the main problem with this. If you set it all up, but it takes a while for the cars to start coming through, and eventually they will be coming through and, and being fairly constant, and you'll get a constant income. But until then... You've got to hope your money lasts long enough. There we go, this is making good time now. 10 seconds in the quality check, 8 seconds in export, and it will be out of there, and also the time it takes to run along the belts, which isn't negligible, but then it doesn't uh, slow things down exactly in the, uh, in the long run. This one is now finished and is moving on to paint. Already we're building up quite a lot of... Uh, of stuff just leading into... Oh, here we go! We got our first car! Okay, this... I guess we'll call it the Car 3! As you know, we'll go call it Car the 3rd. I don't care about capitals. It's an artistic thing or something. They they won't care. Oh, I forgot to change the price! Can't be selling it at a normal price. Gotta put it up to... 40%? Just under, in case there's a threshold of 40% for, like, how much you get sold. So we're now selling them for... 25,000. And we've got another one coming through again from this one. This one is halfway through painting. I swear this is taking longer than normal. Eh, it seems like the same. Money dropping, but not quick enough to be a problem, it looks like. We've still not sold this one, and we've got another one that will be here in about 25 seconds. See, once this gets fully running, we'll get a car every yeah, 34 seconds, and I imagine that that is more than enough to keep us afloat. So we should be all good from now on. I'm going to speed up the time, because at this point we just have to wait. I was still having issues with insuff insufficient resources. So it's probably time to start working on supply stockpiles. Takes 10,000 to build, not too bad. Considering how we currently are, I could build it there because I don't think, like, well, eventually we will want to expand this out. That's the problem. I don't know if I'm going to be using all this space in future. But we do want the stockpile to be relatively near. So I don't know if it really matters if it's that near or not. Ultimately, let me spin it around because uh, the this square here that I'm moused over is the bit that connects to the to the network and stuff. So we could build it over here. We could just put it somewhere along here, like. Uh, Right there. And then we can start adding items to it. So we have to work out what our different things are requesting and what they're running low on. Well, we can immediately see that we're having issues with keeping up with the supply of paint. So I'll add some paint. A million different items here to scroll through. Does the paint start with a P? It doesn't look like it does. Where is the paint? Oh, it does start with a P. It's just not. You know, it's alphabetical. It is alphabetical. Okay, that's fine. We'll just try stocking, like, six paint, and that might be enough to just act as a buffer so that we always, uh... And it's still saying insufficient for the briefest of moments. Nothing actually turned up when it said that, though. It's a bit weird. But yeah, now this seems fine. Yeah, now it's working. It was just taking a while for the, uh... Because there was already some paint, like, coming along the lines, I guess. So now we'll never be... Oop. 
I was gonna say we'll never be short, but I saw some. Hey, it's still doing it a little bit. Is it because it's requesting more paint at once than this store is? Let me let me have a look at this. Oh, and our money's going up now. It's working. We are making a profit. How many cars have we sold? Does it say here? No, it says it in here, doesn't it? Or does it? I've already forgotten again where it actually says where you've sold the cars. Oh, here it says it here. We've sold 11 cars already. So yeah, it's working pretty nice now. We're doing okay. We've unscrewed it up. Only one car in the stock room, so that's going okay. Yeah, how many steps does each... Or how many paint things does each thing require? Is it 16 per step? It says 3 there. How does, like... I want to mouse over the individual steps and work out what is required each time. Or is 16? No, 16 is the total it can store. Requires 3. Requires what, none? I don't understand. Oh, is this... Is a step that doesn't require the paint. Do all the steps require 3? Because if so, that should be more than enough that we never have any issues. Shouldn't it? I know, this seems to be going better anyway. The paint is the uh, the bottleneck, ultimately, so that's the most important one to keep uh, happy, I guess. These ones is not so much of a problem, though. I don't see a queue right now for the painting things, and that's not good. These need to be working a little bit quicker. Then again, it would take a very long time for a queue to build up. Let me see if... This is about to finish. Will something have arrived by then? No, so now it's sat not doing anything. Yep, wasting time. That means these are going too slow. We need to sort out the supplies for them, but... It's hard to, to sort of interpret what's going on here. I imagine I'll get better at it once I have a better idea of what's going on. Are these all the requests currently going on? Because that seems bad. If there's this many things being requested. What can we... I mean, we could just, like, add in the things that are required here. If I just, like, mouse over it over here, will it tell me in a less complicated way? Not really. It's telling me what components that step is made of, but that, uh... I don't think helps. Well, it sort of does, because it tells us what the bits are being fitted, but that was one thing we could tell from here anyway. Yeah, what's on this list keeps changing, so I think this is actually what's being ordered and things are being that late, I guess. So we got we've got a hood, trunk, front bumper, I think rear bumper is somewhere around here. Everything keeps moving. Front arch, rear arch, trim, whatever that is, vent. So we can just start stocking like a couple of these in this stockpile, I guess. How do I Oh there we go, I have to select this square of it. See, so, yeah, I believe this thing can store 36 items because it's a 6x6 storage thing. So we can just start, uh... There was bumpers, arches... We just store... Two hoods... And... Two front bumpers, was the rear bumper? I saw that around, I think. Two rear bumpers, so it should be enough that this can just request from here instead, which I hope works. What else was involved in this? Front rear axle, drive... Oh, that's the wrong bit. I was looking at the wrong bit the whole time, I'm an idiot. So actually, this was all right anyway, so yeah. Hood, trunk, front bumper, rear bumper, roll cage, bottom trim, front touch, rear arch, front vent, roof, door panels, windows, wing mirrors. All right. We will continue adding more stuff to this until it stops complaining about insufficient resources. Let me see door panels. I guess there's lots of those needed. I guess the four-door cars don't even know about my own cars. I'm I'm doing all the businessy stuff. They, those guys down there know how the cars are actually put together. I just throw money at things. Was roll cage needed for this step? I don't, I don't care. I'm putting two in. 
Wait, how much storage space do I have left? I may have used up too much of it at this point. Actually, probably not. 6, 12, 24, so I've got 12 left. So we got to roll cage. Where's the roll cage? So I can get my bearings. Is this all alphabetical? It is, I'm just terrible at, like, things. At all things. Actually, no, roll cage isn't here. I requested one a minute ago. Is it not here because it's already on the list? That is probably what it is. That explains why I could not find my place in the thing. Rear arch. Uh, where's the front arch? Auto saving. It's with F, doesn't it? Of course it does. Oop, no, that's roll cages. Wrong thing. Front arch. So I think I've got room for four items left. And I've forgotten half the things that the car actually needed in the first place. In the particular step that I'm working on. At this point, I've probably got it covered, really. Let's see, is there a carriage for this step? I don't even know. Can I... I won't let me mouse over it while I've got that menu open. I can remind myself. Are we doing a hood and trunk? I haven't done trunk, okay. And... Windows, wing mirrors, one of those. We've not got much space left. We've got four space left. I mean, maybe I could have more things being in the stockpile than there's room for and it'll just sort of cycle nicely, but that could also go terribly, terribly wrong. Two of those. And then we've not got much left, so I'm just gonna... We're windows. We'll put two windows in, which is not enough windows, but it helps. Oops, no, I don't want to press that again. So I think now all of this stockpile is in use, we could add more stuff to it. This is still flashing with insufficient resources all the time. It's probably... In fact, that is actually closer to that anyways. No, closer to this than that is anyway, so it's probably better that it just request it straight from there, so... Derp. I can speed it up a little bit if I run some conveyors. Uh, where are the stockpiles? Oh, there they are. The stockpiles are there. See, I've just run it directly to that one. And we'll run that one too. Now, it's ever so slightly quicker to do that, but not that much quicker, so... Don't know how much that helped, really. Still nothing queuing up here, which is annoying. Means we're not managing a car every 34 seconds. But we've got a bunch of money now, so yeah, it's definitely working. A good thing about this is that I leave it long enough, I can just, like, build a, another car factory somewhere else. Funded by this one. Um, that is much more good at things. And can fit stuff a lot quicker. Using the various steps. I think it's time we just get a bunch of science done. So let's just plonk down four of these straight away and get on with researching the various specializations. So we probably want to, like, paint is the slowest bit, well actually paint isn't the slowest bit as it turns out, it is still uh, the body section, so probably do that first. Not actually very much paint specialization you can do at all. Can you actually split it up into the four different things? Hopefully you can. Who knows. Right, we'll get on with this. It takes 400 research points, so it should take 400 seconds, but we're going at like triple speed, so it'll take like two minutes. But that'll take us to like the end of the episode anyway. We've got two cars in the uh, the showroom now. Uh, it's down to one again. It's keeping fairly balanced, considering we've sold many at this stage. Just how many? 56 cars! Fantastic. All is good. Everything's running nicely. And I'm not going to go bankrupt this time. There is still have to watch out. It's a shame that it doesn't like warn you that like, hey, you're, you've, your uh, money's reached zero. You've got like ten seconds to live. Because then I could be, I could uh, co carried on with the emergency car selling thing, and uh, drop the price down to like fifty percent, and definitely got some money that might have tied me over till the next car turned up. Still flashing up with it with insufficient resources every now and then. I, perhaps she's supposed to build the stockpiles like practically on top of the uh, the ones that they already have in order for it to work right. Might not be flashing up with them as much as it used to, so who knows? Uh, 
And already we've more than paid for the science labs. We should just keep building more. Just like quadruple that and then do all the science immediately. This is going along very nicely. But we are at the 20 minute mark. We'll stop when this is finished. Which now seems to be taking forever. Does it hop up and it might go in jumps or something? Oh, I know what it is. I think uh, it now pauses when you go to the science menu, so you can't watch the science progress. But it will warn you as soon as it's done anyway. And at that point, pause the game, so I guess that works. So yeah, we can start researching all these extra little bits and we can make a car factory that does all the individual bits separately, which will be much more efficient. And there goes the research, so we can now split fitting the body into fitting the roof, fitting the doors, and fitting the body frame. We'll set up the next research project. Um, well, I guess we'll make it paint, because paint is the, uh, the next limiting thing. Actually, I, I want to speed up the... We'll do what we, we were doing before, which is uh, improved efficiency so we can get the, re the imports going quicker, because I, it's annoying how just for a second there, there's not enough stuff, but perhaps there's no way of fixing that, unless I do stockpiling things. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll, we'll understand things more and more as we go, but for now we'll get on with that and we'll be able to just speed stuff up. And we will leave it there. So with that, I should say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.